And the man with the beard said, I didn't like my beard at first, but it's starting to grow on me. <laughs> and then there's me. Just the other day, I was reading a book on anti-gravity, and you know what? I got into it. I just couldn't put it down. <laughs> Bloomberg, the former mayor, you know, he doesn't like guns. He doesn't like people who have guns unless they're the bodyguards that protect his life. We're not supposed to do that. My, my, these academics, please save me from academics, intellectuals, and rich socialists. In any event, he's now suggesting that you ban young minority males from owning guns. I mean, that's a racist comment. He's saying anybody who's a minority person, whether it be a, a black or Hispanic, in some places might even be white kids, who knows what, but he's saying they can't own guns because they go out and hurt other kids, other people. Well, do you think? I mean, they're already breaking the law if they're doing that. A crime's a crime. I mean, now you want to have crime is against a lot of murder a black guy. It's against a lot of murder a white guy. We have a law. It's against a lot of murder people. You kind of have laws in place already, and you know, he's just busy being busy. All the Liberals are the same. I mean, they confuse activity with achievement, and he doesn't have any achievement other than he's ticking us good guys off all of the time. Here's a congressional Democrat now who has introduced a ban on uh, large capacity magazines. Wow, one other wow. I mean, don't they get it? I mean, we don't want that. Good guys don't want that. Bad guys, they're going to do whatever they do anyway. Leave us alone. And now they're talking about reintroducing to Congress the expanded background checks thing. Again, we've been through it. We've been to the movie, leave us alone. It's like the Chinese torture test, drip, drip, drip. You're going to keep on asking until you get the answer you want. You'll never get the answer that you want. Leave us alone. What part of leave us alone don't you get? And I'm talking now specifically to the left wing nut jobs that keep on asking the same questions, hoping for a different answer. It's not going to come with regards to guns. Leave us alone. Got it? Okay. You had, they have a climate chief there. What a term, a climate chief? Can you imagine that? Now she is saying we are intentionally transforming the world economy. We've done our climate little gig, everybody now knows, because we've been telling them for a long time there's all kind of climate issues in the world, and we've also told them about uh, gun control, how we're going to globalize that. I mean, now we're working on the economy, and we're going to do it. It's a tough task, but we're going to get the job done because we know better than anybody else. Just go back to the country you came from and leave us alone. Another leave us alone kind of is applicable to all left-wing people. Here now is a bill that has been introduced in Oklahoma to exempt all politicians from arrest and prosecution for corruption. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So you can go out and rape, pillage, and burn, so to speak, and, and it's okay because we're not going to charge you because we elected you and, you know, what well, we ain't that bright and we're going to let you get away with it. Boy, oh boy, two classes of citizenry here. I, what's up with all of these people? Are they really out there walking among us still? I didn't know anybody was actually this stupid or this abrasive, or you know, in your face. I mean, but this is going on. Bill 2206 will prohibit Oklahoma's district attorneys from prosecuting state officials. Ah, I could talk about that for a lot longer, but I'm not going to. You kind of figure it out. Do you like it? Y'all come back tomorrow, and hopefully we'll have some other things for you that you like from the right. See ya.